So what the hell is going on with Daniel Ricciardo? After yet another disappointing performance in his home race, Ricardo finds himself on the brink of losing his seat at RB, as Helmut Marko has dropped numerous hints about the Australian's future. With no visible signs of improvement in his performance, a final ultimatum has been issued. Helmut Marko revealed to the Herald New Zealand that if Ricardo fails to significantly enhance his performance in the next two races, Japan and China, his seat will be handed to another driver capable of extracting the desired performance from the car. While Marco has directed numerous comments towards both Ricardo and Tsunoda, the latter has managed to at least get himself out of immediate trouble by securing six points in the Australian GP, accounting for all of Red Bull's current points. Meanwhile, Ricardo endured his worst race yet, finishing 12th in a 16-car field. Nevertheless, Ricardo remains optimistic and maintains a positive mindset for the upcoming races. Following his disappointing home race finish, the Australian shared, To be honest, I feel good, but unfortunately, due to the results, I still don't feel great. In the next one or two races, we will receive some new parts for the car, so I expect a quick improvement, and before we know it, we'll be performing amazing again. I just want to keep competing, and I'm sure I'll find something more in myself. I keep hoping that we will find something in the car. I thought it would have been this weekend. Maybe it's next, and if it's not the next, then we'll keep going until it happens. It will happen. The one most likely to benefit from Ricardo's underperformance is none other than Liam Lawson, who is probably the next in line to secure an RB seat, having served as a reserve for both Red Bull teams since 2022. As Lawson grows impatient for an F1 seat, Red Bull must make a decision regarding his near future. As Lawson went on to say, I think Daniel knows that the potential is there, but I am sure he is probably expected to step it up. Ultimately, my goal is to get back in the Racing Bull's seat as soon as possible, and I can definitely do a better job than Ricardo right now. I feel like I am ready, but there are lots of other guys there too. Red Bull is pretty cutthroat when it comes to these things, and although I would love to drive for them, ultimately, I want to be an F1 regardless. Don't forget to subscribe for more entertaining news.